Right, I tell you, they're champs. Now you may have seen Ash. You go see his channel. Check him out. He's a champ. What the f just happened? Go see his channel, Ash. He come up with this. He's a meticulous guy. He knew MacBook Pros, new MacBook Pros. They're gonna release new MacBook Pros with Vega graphics. I have a deal for you guys. If you're stuck with Windows Home and you want to get Windows Pro, or you just want cheap office keys, gaming keys, or gift card vouchers, head on down to 09, look in the description for the links and a discount code to get even more of a discount. Okay, so 60% faster graphics i see that one there 60 percent. that's just too much i mean the vega graphics i have seen that are in you know uh, laptops is not 60 percent faster than what the rx 560 so but that 60 percent seems a bit steep because if it is vega graphics the only mobile vega graphics we know of at the moment is the one that goes in the xps 15 tool one i'll leave links in the description if you want to see that that vega graphics which a lot of people actually say it's just rebranded uh, Polaris, which uh, whatever, they're calling it Vega. That thing performs in between a GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti. Now the current graphics inside the MacBook Pro 15 inches performs more like just under a GTX 1050. So to go from just under a GTX 1050 to in between a GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti, which is unless they have some sort of new Vega graphics coming out, which is what we know of at the moment, of the parts that are out there at the moment, that's not 60%. So anyway, new MacBook Pros, I'm going to get it. I'm going to slam it anyway. So make sure you subscribe to see that and make sure you check out Ash's channel. Thanks for him for modifying all of us for this. Now, I made a little video, it's a bit of a clickbaity video, but really, I stand by what I say. I think you're better off not buying this MacBook Air. Now, I've been to Vic Uni a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, and I have been absolutely astounded, like astounded by how many MacBook Airs there are. On one day, I counted 40%, and it was like over 20 laptops, 40% of the laptops I've seen were MacBook Airs. And that's because of the price point, and the MacBook Airs, the old ones, all right, you can laugh at the bezels and that, but they were freaking great machines, man. These MacBook Pros, you laugh, they look a bit dated and that, but they had, you know, good performance. I know a photographer that uses it for Lightroom, you know, on the go. They were robust. They were a great computer. But then they brought out these new ones and they've put in these mobile, these 5-watt mobile dual, dual cores, and they're not great performers. They're not great for multitasking. They actually struggle with 4K content just to even view it. Luckily, you have the T2 in here that can help with that. So that won't be an issue, but they're not good at multitasking and stuff like that. So I would suggest if you want a Mac, try and save up the $100, get the non-touch or the Escape. They call it the non-touch bar MacBook Pro. It's, you know, $100 more. Here it is. Sorry. $100 more and you get a much better computer. It's a little bit heavier, that's the only negative, and it does have a fan, so the other one is fanless, the MacBook Air, so it will be a little bit louder, but you're gonna get much better performance, you know, iris graphics, it, it, these things, like this was my favorite Mac until the 15 inch six core i9 MacBook Pro come out. So I'm just trying to, you know, educate you, you know, if you spend an extra $100, you get a much better computer, but, all those people at that university with MacBook Airs, so they would be perfectly fine with one of these laptops, you know, because all they do is, you know, uh, productivity, web surfing, view content, you know, documents and stuff like that, you know. They don't have any heavy-duty needs. But the thing is, what about if you want to video edit here and there and stuff like that, then that's where the performance of these is going to be. It's not going to be great. I know this chip, it's not a great multitasking chip. Yeah, it depends on your needs. It'll be okay, but spend that extra hundred, get that MacBook Pro. And then someone asked me um, in the comments too, should I get a MacBook Air or an iPad Pro? I would say get the MacBook Pro rather than the MacBook Air over an iPad. I cannot use an iPad as a daily computer. I've tried it. I've tried even the Surface Pro. No, I can't do it. I, I can't use those tablets. They're not for me. And if you actually watched on stage, if go go have a look. You'll see when they demonstrate Photoshop, the girl there. I felt sorry for her, actually. She must go to the gym, man. She must be ripped like Ash because of she was holding out that iPad and she was using Photoshop and it looked really clunky and awkward. I get tired just holding up a friggin' iPhone. So imagine holding an iPad up and I saw where they had USB-C now output into a screen. It still just looks clunky and awkward as a 
If you've just got basic needs, yes, but um, if you're into content creation, I still don't think they're the great greatest thing out there. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. I'll keep you updated with the new MacBook Pros when we find out if it's a 13 or 15 inch or whatever's happening. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Catch you in the next one. Tally ho.